Hello everybody, good buddy here, here, here for something pretty much new. Now I've gotten a lot of requests of people be like, Oh, how did you do this effect for this video? And you know, for a long time to be quiet, I think I'm finally going to teach you guys. Because A, you guys can finally do cool stuff and learn how it's done and other stuff. Yada, yada, yada. So, okay, let's get to it. The things I'm going to go over this video are the radio effect. You have to get out of there. Now, all of you. And the G-verb effect. Wait. He's actually smiling for once. What the hell is up with this, Lucas? And for later on, for those who enjoyed some of the Hit Game series, I do have special edition effects that I do for people. Fine, then. I guess we'll have to do this the hard way. No wonder Italy chooses me over you. You're obviously not the best friend of material. I'm... Uh, I'm... I'M NO BONE! And I'm gonna go over how to do those. Hooray. Okay, so. Let's get to it. Okay, first, let me talk about Jeever, because that is the one I absolutely use. Now, people may know... There's two types to use it. There's uh, regular, which is front words, and then backwards for those. For the front words, I usually do it for, like, thoughts. I'm so scared. Japan. And then I use the backwards for characters, or other cool stuff to make them look sound weird. No sane person would try to take that away from someone! None! Okay, so first off, G-verb. So let's go with the line. We're gonna do front words first, then backwards. Uh, I hope everyone will be okay. That's a pretty basic. Okay, so what we do... Go to effect, and G-verb right here. So what we do, is this will pop up, put the room size down to about 10, or as close to 10 as you can get, um, reverb time to about 1.5 or so, I like it right there, damping down to 0.144, whoop, whoop, whoop. right there, then dry signal all the way up. An early reflection level down to around 26 or so, so it doesn't found, sound fucking weird and shit. Do right about there. I like that one. Okay, so right there. This is how it sounds like. Uh, I hope everyone will be okay. So then it has like an echoey effect, so it is kind of like thoughts and stuff, like an anime, so just minus that. Now we do it the reverse way, so. By the way, for G verbs, um, either frontwards or backwards, always leave space in between because it will take up time to, you know, do the echoey effect. So, okay, so click this and then we select reverse. This is what it sounds like. Yeah, why well, you will know rebel him. Huh? Hehehe. <laughs> and then we do G verb, which is the exact same. Ta ta. And then we reverse it again. Ba bam. Now it sounds like this. Uh, I hope everyone will be okay. Yep, see? Pretty simple. Now, it's the stuff that you can do with it. It's awesome. Okay, so. Minus all that. Now, the next thing we're going to learn about is radio effect. Okay, so. This one's pretty easy. And since usually for, like, higher volume stuff, you should probably amplify it less. Because it will add a lot of volume to it. And I do mean these for both of them. Okay, so let's um, get to FFT filter. So we put it all the way up here. And then right there. No, other way around. Other way around. Stop it. But up. Clear. There we go. Up here. Down here. There we go. Do do roughly like that. I'm not perfect. There's a lot of people who do um, tutorials on these two. See, it ends up like that. So it's like, uh, I hope everyone will be okay. So it gets a little like that. So, and then what we do next is we go to, where is it? High pass filter. And we change it to 2000. It makes it tiny. Uh, I hope everyone will be okay. As you can notice, it's getting a little bit of a radio effect and people can do it as often as they want to, really. I personally put it to two. 
Though three doesn't hurt either, because that gets it, like, most. Like, this effect you can use for, like, um, like, telephones or radios or walkie-talkies. Okay, so this is how it sounds, so I used to do it. Uh, I hope everyone will be okay. As you can see, it does sound like a radio. So let's try one more time for those curious to see what three would sound like. It'd probably be really staticky, but that's kind of the point. Ta-da. Uh, I hope everyone will be okay. With that, you can definitely hear the static in the background, which gives it more of a, um, a radio-type tone. Doop, 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 doop. Dang it! Go back. Ah, yes. Okay, so that's about the two main ones I do. I think that's about all the ones that I do do. So, okay, that's about it for that one. Now, people who like my hit games and like and basically I do a combination of a lot of those and pitches and stuff. So that's why I'm waiting for the end for those. Okay, so let's start with a really old one before we get to the Dream Talia ones. Hit of fear. A lot of people ask me how I did that one. Friends, you seriously believe that? You think I would be desperate enough to ally myself with someone as much of a fool as you? And pretty simple, really. Um, let me actually get a file from back then. And poor audio right there. Yep. Luckily, I rem Yeah, this is how I do it. Uh, let's do Canada. Is that originally sounded? Fine then. I guess we'll have to do this the hard way. Ooh boy, Canada battle. Okay, so what we do is Control D is for duplicate. It's always good. And then for the top one, I did put uh, change pitch, and I put it to negative twenty-five because why the hell not? Because you know it's possessed by a demon, so why not give it a low voice? So it sounds like... Fine, then. I guess we'll have to do this the hard way. Spoopy. So then, next, I reverse reverbed the one with the original audio on it. Uh, G-verb, that's it. It all should still save. But the thing is, though, is that um, every time you close the window, you have to redo it all. So you have to try to memorize it or keep looking at this video to get it. ba -bum. Fine, then. I guess we'll have to do this the hard way. And that's how I made it for every single person. They all got that treatment. Sweet. Okay, so. Next. We get to the Dream Talia stuff, because I don't think I really made much. Like, Hit the Sparkle was pretty much the same kind of treatment, only I actually redubbed over my voice to make it sound like double people. So, it wasn't really that too difficult. And, you know, again, g -verb tricks. Okay, so now, uh, a lot of people have been asking for this one. Falsherev! How the hell do I do the Falsherev voice? Something wrong, Captain? <laughs> okay, do okay. Um, let's see. I wonder if I actually have a clip I can use. No, I, I'll, I'll, I'll do it something. Hi, friend! Hi, friend! Hey friend, what you looking at there, friend? Oh, what's that? Oh, what you looking at there, friend? Friend, I'm here. I love you. For some reason, that's an actually really popular quote, even though I just improv that. <laughs> okay. Oh well, maybe it'll become something else. So okay, again. Now for this one, I actually leave the original pretty much alone. But for down here, the, the duplicate is what we mess with. We put it to negative six, because. It's not going to be as important. It's not. It's it's going to be kind of subtle, but even though. Okay, so and then we G verb it, ba -ba, and then re reverse it again. So now it's all lined up, and now the kicker is we go up fifteen percent, or actually right here. It's close enough. And then here's what it sounds like. Hi friend. Hi friend. Hi friend. What you looking at there, friend? Oh, what's that? What you looking at there, friend? Friend, I'm here. I love you. Yep, pretty much basic. Yeehaw. Friend, I'm here. I love you. Sorry, I just like that quote. Okay. Now, Arcanas. This one I'm actually going to be using a clip for an example. Uh, good golly gosh, where'd he go? 
All right. Okay. So, I don't think it's in there. I think it's in there. Yep. Uh, Arcanas. That's also a popular one. Uh, okay, we're gonna go to that one. We're gonna be doing World, because his has a special part to it that I'm also gonna be explaining here in a little tiny bit. Okay. Here is the original sound. I'm... Uh, uh, I'm... I'M NO PAWN! And that's it for that. So, what we do is we make it, uh... Make it smaller. Usually I put it to either three or two. This one, probably that one. Yeah, because it's really loud. So, it kind of gets the same uh, treatment as the Foucher Rave does, except you don't exactly pitch it. So, um... Basically, you just do a basic G-verb on it, which is nice. Um, G-verb. And then, yeah, see, it gets really big. So we probably need to uh, amplify a little less again. Boop. Okay. And then reverse it again. And then this is what it sounds like so far. I'm... Uh, uh, I'm... I'm no pawn! So that's how we get basic arcana. Now, people who have watched my series have realized, hey, it's missing something. That's right. Because on the red text, I like to do usually, um, a sort of thing that makes it emphasize the red. So the the red word here was pawn. So what we do, so we cover that. PAWN! Close enough. Um, maybe just a little bit. Boop. Okay, so we duplicate that. Oh, right. Uh, this is supposed to be on negative six, by the way. Uh, <laughs> But this is on zero because it's supposed to be emphasized, so it's supposed to be heard with it. So what we do with that is we pitch it up to eight. Not negative. Normal eight. Right there. And then also, so it's not as jarring of a sound to hear. We fade in. Where is it? There it is. Okay. So this is what it should sound like. I'm... Uh, uh, I'm... I'M NO PAWN! And there you go. Angry world is angry. So I think that's about it. Covered over the basics of the Arcanas, the Foucher Um, Hit to Fear. And again, mostly everything else is just, um... G-verb and radio. Which I know that's basically what you guys have been wanting to know. So... Uh, there you go. I hope y'all use that info good. And you'll probably be hearing me use it a lot later, too, because I do love those sort of things. Yes. So, and other other stuff is just usually, like, pitch changes, too. Like, for the zombies in Hit Apocalypse. That's, that's so bad. Please. I just, like... Pitch it down to whatever feels right. Um, I go between either 5 or 25. It depends on what I'm doing it with. Uh, hit to fear, I think, having 25. But, who knows. But, yes, that should be about it. So, here you go. And, have a good day, everybody. Bye!